All right. So the other uh, there's actually a lot of big news today. But one of the other big stories today is, yes, as we have been stating for months now, and as a lot of people did not believe, Ring of Honor is, in fact, relaunching over WrestleMania weekend. They made the announcement today. Supercard of Honor 2022 is taking place on Friday, April 1st at the Curtis Colwell Center in Garland, Texas. Tickets for the annual pay-per-view extravaganza go on sale Friday, January 21st at 11 Eastern for Honor Club members. Friday, January 28th for the general public. No matches have been announced for Supercard of Honor yet. So this is this is the working plan, okay? And this is a spoiler, by the way, for the Impact tapings. Rock C is no longer the Ring of Honor Women's Champion. She was uh, defeated by Diana Parazzo. And uh, the story is that, as we had noted, Ring of Honor is going to be a glorified independent promotion with television. So a uh, PWG, a GCW, they're essentially going to use who is available to run shows, and they are going to put those shows on television. That's, that's part one of the plan. At this point, Roxy has not signed with anybody, but the presumption is... She probably ain't going to be available in April. She's got a, a another WWE tryout camp coming up. AW, who knows, maybe they'll make an offer for her. But the feeling is it's unlikely that she's going to be available. So therefore, they took the title off of her to because I think they figured that Deanna will be available in April. Deanna, uh, they must have some sort of agreement with um, uh, Impact or whatever. Whatever the situation is, they feel they're going to be able to use Deanna come April. So Deanna is the current Ring of Honor champion. There were a whole bunch of belts in Ring of Honor. And going forward, they're largely going to book three belts. They're going to book the Ring of Honor men's title, the Ring of Honor women's title, the Ring of Honor tag team titles. So six-man titles, uh, pure title. I know Jonathan Gresham is out there with the uh, the pure title as well. But I don't want to say those belts are like fully retired but Ring of Honor is going to be focusing on men's, women's tag. And so what's going to happen is you've been seeing uh, Jonathan Gresham working elsewhere, defending the the Ring of Honor title. You see Deanna Parazzo do the, the same thing. And uh, same with the tag team titles. And the agreement that Ring of Honor has with all of these other promotions is, let's say that you, know, you see a, a Ring of Honor uh, tag team championship match at GCW. Ring of Honor has the rights to the footage of their tag team championship match or whatever match in other promotions. Doesn't mean exclusive rights, but if the Briscoes defend the tag team titles in GCW, Ring of Honor can use that footage on their television shows. So basically from now until Supercard of Honor, if you watch the Ring of Honor television show, you're going to see championship matches from all different promotions because Ring of Honor has the right to use those matches on their television show. And then obviously come Supercard of Honor, you'll see, you know, matches from there and the tapings on the television show. And uh, the champions are essentially going to be touring world champions. So we'll talk more about this after the break. Back in a moment, Observer Live. TV also of WrestlingObserver.com. So I don't know what the future is for the uh, six-man pure television titles, etc. I mean... There they may they may have to return him. them. They may just float around the indies, and whoever's <laughs> champion just books them. So I don't know what they're going to do. But the three that they're going to focus on are men's, women's, and tag. And uh, touring world champions is noted. So they'll go all over the place, defend those titles. Ring of Honor gets to use the footage for television. Ring of Honor shoots their own television and pay-per-views. And uh, that's the future at this point of Ring of Honor. So first big show coming back will be, as noted, the... Uh, Supercard of Honor on April 1st in uh, Garland, Texas. Yeah, well, what do you need all those belts for, you know, in the situation that they're in? You could argue that they don't even need a women's title, although because of the way they're going to be set up now, the women's division might actually thrive and that belt actually might get a lot more shine on it because you are able to bring in people from outside and you don't have to worry about acquiring a roster that they were attempting to do and all that sort of stuff. So you could bring in somebody, you know, as much money as Sinclair is going to want to throw at people. And I think this is the best case scenario for Ring of Honor. Obviously, 
what the wrestling side wanted, Sinclair could only give them so much as far as being able to flood them with money and production and all these sorts of things. You know, that limitation, especially production wise, has been there since day one when it comes to getting the equipment and having really what these guys want to use. And they were only going to make it so far. So in this crazy environment that we're in, they need to concentrate on Honor Club, make sure people sign up for it, give people get them excited for that possibility get them excited for these weekend pay-per-views that they're going to be doing what is going to be interesting or is going to be how the rest of the landscape it spins around ring of honor when they decide we're going to have this weekend and we're going to watch it for friday and saturday or however that's going to work how there's so many other promotions that now run Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There's so much going on. It'll be interesting to see who they are able to draw in. But as far as I'm, I know, and I could be dead wrong about this, Brian. Maybe you have some insight on it. Chris Hero is still there. There are other people that are still there who certainly have a cachet in this business, certainly love pro wrestling, and certainly want to see Ring of Honor succeed and understand that even with its limitations, having Sinclair behind you and having those resources are a massive, massive help. This person says ROH better pay up if they're going to be using people's footage in syndication. Bro, uh, what do you think they're gonna be what do you think they're gonna be paying for this? Number one. If you're if you're GCW, you get to promote that the Ring of Honor champion is defending its championship on your show, and then GCW is getting syndicated all over the yeah. country with tons of. Pre- you think they're not going to say where it's at? Well, oh, this is like, they're going to plug GCW. They'll yeah. probably plug their next show. I mean, this works out great for everybody. No this one's is... turning this idea down because they're not getting paid huge money if the footage is used on on television. No, and we already saw Effie and AJ Gray show up to face the Briscoes on ROH TV, and they they benefited from that. We've seen the Briscoes. This was a couple of years ago, right after the hurricane in Puerto Rico. When every, I mean, it was it's still awful down there. Especially forget about the wrestling scene, but you know, WWC ran their anniversary show. The Briscoes went down there for that. That footage ended up on on Ring of Honor TV. So. Again, it's a little bit of a different example, but there's going to be a lot of give and take here, especially for groups like, say, Defy or, you know, yes, Defy has got a channel on Pluto. They absolutely have that. Unfortunately, the visibility is not there. Ring of Honor, you know, you can debate how many people watch it and all this sort of stuff. But because of the way it's syndicated out, because there's still the possibility of getting a lot of viewers for a lot of these smaller groups, even Impact, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing to have your name mentioned on TV like that. This person here wants to know if I know if Ring of Honor is going to use original commentary for shows from other promotions or if they'll do their own commentary. Actually, I don't know. I don't know what's going on right now. I will try to answer some of these questions later on, but uh, that's uh, that's all I know at this exact moment. I'm also trying to figure out more about like uh, Josh Woods' pure title. Like, is he the shoot pure champion right well, now? I don't know. We'll, well see, out. a lot of these belts. I mean, honestly, I if I'm Ring of Honor, I just reel them back in and look at Chain Taylor Promotions and look at who you know whoever's got these belts and go, hey. You know, the time to cash them out. We're going to put them up in the <laughs> in the offices, and that's it. I mean, you could let the belts linger out there, sell them to somebody. You know, you could sell the rights to have a a, a trios match where those belts get merged and, and sucked in by AAA or something like that. You could absolutely do something like that if you so chose. But realistically, right now, I would honestly just vacate those belts. That pure championship was was basically melded in to the world title anyway. The TV title, I think, went that direction. They did they merged that one already so i think when it comes to the pure title and the six-man titles you know it kind of stinks for those guys but i would say go ahead and pull them off and they can walk around any independent promotion and go hey i was never beat for those belts we were never beat for those belts we want to come in you could always have that storyline when they go in somewhere again maybe it's just that as a canadian who has always had health insurance this doesn't seem Max, smarten up to this, be a big this deal. This is going to go to the best of right here, Lance. Yeah. You are being corralled away by uh, by this dog. By a dog trying to eat my wife's uh, boots. Oh, man. Oh, they said they must be tasty. Yeah, if my wife gets home and her good leather boots are chewed up, I'm dead. You'll be chewed up next. Yeah, I'll be living outside with the dog. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, 
the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.